Today, we have a special guest. Hi, everyone. I'm Aunt Sue from the U.S. Yes. Where are you from, Aunt Sue? I'm from Chicago. That's where I grew up. I love that city. Yeah, I live in Chicago, too. <laughs> oh, wow, Nina. I'm glad we have that in common. Now you are living in Chicago. <laughs> yes. We've been covering lots of sad and brutal stories about North Korea, but actually, I can't recall we ever made uh, videos about Nina. So mm -hmm. maybe let's talk about Nina's life in the U.S. <laughs> So Nina, yeah, yeah. we made a video about like how North Korean government make their people thinking mm -hmm. how evil American people are. And then I know that government tells you whenever you leave the country, American people will skin you alive. Uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> but like how, how did you have a gut to come to America? First of all, I want to find my freedom also. Mm -hmm. And second one, I want to live in a big country. Big country. Yeah. Yeah, because yes. I was a little confused, uh, so you wanted to find your freedom, but most mm. of the countries are, like, free, <laughs> except North Korea. <laughs> so, but, but you wanted to live and live in a big country. I understand. America is the biggest country, right? Yes. It is a big country. It is, yeah. And uh, so, I knew a little bit about America. I want to live in the, from the North Korea so far, I, I don't want to close by. <laughs> North oh, Korea. So South Korea was too close to too close. North Korea. Yeah, no matter it's a different uh, system, but there is a close by. We just divide. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same country, but it just divide. Yeah, you must hate North Korea so bad. <laughs> you wanted to just run away as far as possible. Yes. Or worried uh, they'd come and get her in South Korea. Some people get abducted too. Yeah. Glad you came far away. You got to the U.S. Yeah. And yeah. you you met white people. I'm sorry. I know there are a lot of racists in America, <laughs> but they only break white people's face. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm they sorry, only but think it's white not. people are evil. I don't. I don't know. So um, you must have seen a lot of a lot of white people. But uh -huh, in yeah. North Korea, you learn that they are mm -hmm. all evil. They're devil and then they will just like skin you alive and then they're meanest people in the world so yeah. were, they, were they actually evil did, did you see any horns on their head and stuff no at all I, no <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I never see that at all and when i came here it's the they're all lying i realized that they were all lying us and it does bring to watch everyone when i realized the american people too nice and really kindness i don't know it's english at all I, even it's alphabet when i came in usa and i don't know where i have to go because i don't know english at all so and then i have just only ticket i just the asking they realized I can speak at all, so they helping me location where to go, and I don't know understanding where, so they come to meet me and they, until the place. Yeah, yes. American people took yes. her to the destination. Oh, it's different. <laughs> I feel like oh my god. I just... Well, if I were you, I would have thought just like, okay, this person is taking me somewhere. This white, evil white person. Maybe they're <laughs> taking me to the butcher shop. You've done well with the English. <laughs> Thank you. I'm still learning English. But it happened to me too. I mean, like, people were way nicer than I thought. You know, I, it, maybe it depends on where you go, because it's a big country. Every city has their own characteristic. America's better than you think. <laughs> Good. Yes. Mm -hmm. I hope yeah. there's nice people everywhere. So impressions about American people, they're kind and they're nice to you. Yes. So mm -hmm. it was it was really different. And other things, I when I came, American uh, the greet and then hug, right? And then it was so sad. Oh. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, well, a lot yeah, of us so are I huggers. Was, uh, awkward because North Korea, uh, when you greet and then just boil the head, wow. that's it. I've never thought of the hug is an American <laughs> greet. Even it's my mom, I'm not really hug with the mom too. <laughs> I feel like that's just so totally different. <laughs> All the like burly men, they hug you. Did you like uh, it? First time, I'm so weird. <laughs> yeah, I would uh, say I that weird. is kind of weird yeah, too. Yeah, I was just uh -huh. so awkward. Oh my, I was just feel like uh, uncomfortable. So. <laughs> Intimacy yeah. mm -hmm. in yeah. there. But for me, like I studied English in California. I was like college. Uh -huh. I really liked it. <laughs> 
Do you like American food or? Yes, I do. I do like uh, American food and then, but never have seen and in North Korea. So even mm -hmm. fruit and vegetable, and then they have only season time, only winter time specifically the... Certain vegetable and fruits are only seasonal. Seasonal. But in America, you can see it. Oh, throughout year, the year. Right, right, yeah. yes. That's amazing. And no matter where you, I have gone the market and there's a lot of vegetables and fruit. So yeah. you knew you knew that other countries are a little better than North Korea. They will have some food. You won't be hungry so much. But did you expect that America will be this abundant in food? I heard that, but I'm not that much ex expect. Uh, yeah. And so it was day. way more than you expected, huh? Yes. Yeah, I heard that the so, Americans every day they have a lot of different kind of food and vegetable. I never expected that much. <laughs> So yeah. tell me what you would eat in a typical day in North Korea. What would what would you have to eat? Normally people's main corn rice. It's not like corn here. No. They have corns only for like other countries use it for animals. Right. It's completely different. It's yeah. like it does not have like any moist. It's like Wow. No, I wouldn't last ten minutes now. <laughs> But if you're lucky though, not yeah. a lot of people get that too. Oh. Yeah, a lot of people is, uh, doesn't have it's a corn or rice, so that's why it's starvation and then a lot of people died. Mm -hmm. I know that the fruit situation in North Korea is really bad. Which fruit surprised you the most? Most in USA? Uh, in the USA, yeah. Okay, it's, it's really difficult to point it. All of them are new? New. A lot of big and apple, watermelon is big and I've never seen it in North Korea. So do you yeah. have a favorite fruit here? Yes, I do. <laughs> what do you yeah. like? Uh, I do like watermelon, also uh, blueberry, that kind, of, then kiwi. Fancy, huh? Yeah, <laughs> great. I love those things too. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> so, when you're not working, what's your favorite thing to do in Chicago? Sometimes I'm just exercise and meet a friend, and when I'm not working, free time and studying. I'm still learning English. So do you get to go to the lake ever, like Michigan? I went there, yeah, in Chicago, yeah. So pretty, I'm not, even in river, it's very big. So I still not believe it is a river because so wild and so big. <laughs> yeah, yes, sometimes it is like an ocean. Yeah, she, she, she yeah. thought actually the Lake Michigan was the ocean. I, could, I think yeah. so too. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, huge. Yeah. Uh, good things for me and I can study. It's up to me. Studying whatever I, what I want, I can get. But in mm -hmm. North Korea, it's impossible, whatever I want. It's not, it's up to me in North Korea. But in America, no matter what age I can study and whatever I want, I can do. So that's mm -hmm. big things for me. Study to become who you want to be. Yeah. In North Korea, there is actually like a classes. And yes. it's really important what family you're from. It's limited what you can study, where you can go, everything. Yeah. Second one, uh, I found my voice of the laughing. And I never heard it in North Korea, but then I heard it in America. I never heard it. My laughing is that much and so weird and kind of <laughs> loud. And we talked about this and then I almost cried because like she said she never knew how her laugh sounds. She was here when she was when she was like 27. One day she laughed really the high tone and she freaked out. She said like why do I make like fox sound? Cuz she ne she never laughed like like that. Oh. So she she said after she came to America she found out how her laughs like sound. <laughs> that that really was touching and it was horrible that she never laughed. That is it's very sad. Laughter is like the <laughs> best medicine for everything. I know. I mm -hmm. hope you laugh a lot. I'm so glad that you are here and then discovering about yourself, including the laughter. <laughs> Thank you very much for being here telling these stories to people in the world. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. We're glad you're here too. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Yeah, I thought it was like a fox too when she when she was laughing. I was like, what is this? <laughs> I don't have. I've never had a good laugh. I, I'm gonna start practicing your laugh. Yeah, so. maybe. Yeah. <laughs>
So we heard stories from Nina, how she thinks about the U.S., how American people treated her. Thank you, Nina, for sharing. And North Korea people still, they don't know how their left sounds in North Korea. It, it is really sad, and they're suffering from their government and actually dying at this moment, too. So please share this video to people you know. Like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank, Thank you for watching our channel. Thank you. Bye.